today I'm here to talk to you about the dream magic in Luminous Ages. Now, what dream magic is, is a dream art magic. So our wizards or mages have the ability, to, they have ink pouring out of their fingertips and they have the ability to draw and capture their enemies on a page. That's the Captivary dream magic. Or if you're a luminary, you have the power to draw and bring your creatures and monsters to life. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about Captivaries today and go into it. I'm going to maybe talk about one spell that I have here that we've drawn for the Captivary Dream Magic. But keep in mind, there is basically so many spells that we're creating. We're creating about 30 plus spells. And some of these spells are going to be used for all the different subclasses, for the subclasses of the Luminaries, the Captivaries, and Chosen. Now, when I say Dream Magic, Dream Magic is basically um, the, uh, I suppose, Captivary and Luminary Magic, what the Art Magic, we would call it. So since the dawn of time, dream mages have been gifted with the ability to capture what they see on a page or surface. Some of the greatest captivaries have been known to be able to capture entire houses or towns on, on a scroll or page of a book. Dream ink markings appear on the body of the luminaries and captivaries and even on the chosen when they awaken in their teens. These markings can change in shape and form over the course of their life. The dream magic that looks like ink or tattoos pours out of the fingertips of the captivaries uh, chosen all the luminaries and works differently for each. For instance, dream magic comes out of the fingertips of captivaries as they perceive the world around them and capture an item or person on a surface or even a whole building. Some captivaries like to use brushes or quills to increase their precision, uh, speed and the flow of the dream ether that pours out of their fingertips. Some are complete naturals and just use their fingertips like a child that finger paints. Now, for instance, we also have with the Captivary Magic one spell here I'm going to talk about, which is the Captivary's Minor Theft. Now, that's a second level conjuration spell. It's one action. It, the range is about 30 feet. It's whatever they can see within 30 feet. The components are V and S, so uh, the duration is instantaneous. And the classes that can use this at the moment are the Bard and the Warlock. I'd like to say that also the Rogue, we also have the Rogue sub, uh, subclass of our own that can do this. Now what this spell allows you to do is you draw and capture an item you can see within range from a creature or a location. The target creature or item must make a Wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, you steal one non-magic item that the creature is wearing or carrying that is an armor or a second weapon in their hand. So the stolen item that appears in your captive book or surf surface of choice. So it actually, um, the stolen item just appears on their book and they keep it. Now sometimes the the enemy doesn't even notice it. Um, and yeah, that's the great advantage of this spell. So you can go in and steal stuff or, you know, grab some keys and then use those keys. If you're, if you're captured in a particular jail and you can't see get a way out that's one way of getting out so but there are many captivary spells coming um this is just a quick introduction into the captivary magic because people have been asking me how does the dream magic work we have a, a whole dream magic system and dream magic is the captivary luminary and chosen magic and so it's it's pretty much like dream art magic so imagine it's it's your imagination it's what you see when you sleep. But dream magic is more than just these, the Captivary and Luminary and Chosen abilities. It also has a lot to do with the dream plane and falling asleep. Um, and, and obviously in our world, you can escape into the dream verse as well, into the dream plane of Oniro. And we have our own Onirian races that can teleport in and out of the dream plane. And it's like a living world as well, the dream plane. So I hope that makes sense of what dream magic is, what Captivary dream magic is. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you, bye. Thank you.